This is the first perfume from the Soviet Union, Krosnaya Moskva, or Red Moscow. Officially the first Soviet-created perfume, Red Moscow became very popular and was widespread throughout the Soviet Union and the Eastern Bloc. Also a favorite gift of diplomats and tourists visiting the Soviet Union to bring back home. Created by the Soviet perfumery New Dawn, the official description of the perfume says that it's a subtle, warm, noble fragrance with a hint of orange blossom, with the main smells being iris, carnation, jasmine, orange blossom, musk, citrus, fruits, and helio. Trope. The actual history of this perfume and its creation is quite confusing and full of different versions and legends. Officially, this perfume is said to be created by the best noses at the New Dawn perfumery, and the actual full formula is kept secret. Some say that this perfume had previously been created in the 1860s for Empress Maria Fyodorovna by the son of a French soap maker for the anniversary of the Romanov dynasty. Others say that the French perfume La Oregon Coti, I don't know French, from 1905 was taken as the basis of this perfume. But whatever the official origins, people love it, even those outside of the Soviet Union, even winning an award in the World's Fair of 1958 in Brussels. Then there are also plenty of urban legends about the similarities between Red Moscow and Chanel No. 5. It's also ultimately survived past the Soviet Union, still immensely popular. They've even recently created a new version of Red Moscow called Red Moscow Light, created in 2018, very, very recently, which emphasizes the more floral notes. But the original scent is quite nostalgic for anyone from the former Soviet Union or Eastern Bloc. As someone who's a big advocate for aspects of living history, I think donning the most popular perfume in the Soviet Union can really add to a sense of understanding. You can imagine yourself there. You smell what the people smelled and smelled like, which is something quite indescribable when wanting to find a deeper understanding of the everyday life of Soviet citizens. I think it's really neat being able to imagine the scent of the past but also the present as it's still quite popular.